Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brennan and today we're going to be going over Integromat and Zapier, which one to use when we're using Go High Level. So as many of you know, Go High Level is a pretty all-inclusive CRM that allows us to do some pretty awesome things, build landing pages, have all-in-one uh, client communication systems, uh, calendar booking, forms, surveys, have tags, client information, maintain our pipeline, uh, and many, many more. I'm just scratching the surface here. Uh, so without further ado, let's kind of dive on in and see what this is all about. So for starters, Zapier and Go High Level, and, or Integromat and Go High Level, either one. Uh, what are these softwares? So essentially, uh, Zapier and Integromat allow us to stitch together third-party software with our main CRM that enables streamlining business processes. So for instance, uh, whether that uh, we are using... Um, various different contract type softwares, whether it's Pandadoc, DocuSign, um, other sorts of softwares like that. Uh, if we're um, giving uh, people access to a course, whether you have it actually built inside of Go High Level or maybe you have it built on Kajabi, uh, or maybe you send clients uh, a personalized little uh, note, note card or postcard whenever they sign up with you, you can automate some of these processes out. Um, and the way we use that is by using these third-party software, Zapier and Integromat. So essentially, they kind of act like the glue of the internet. It allows us to use any sort of software or system uh, that doesn't normally natively integrate with our uh, software of choice. So for instance, if we have a project management tool like Notion or uh, ClickUp or Monday.com, this will allow us to sync uh, all of our contacts whenever a deal gets closed, adding them to that project mon management software, and just really streamlining those systems for ourselves. Now, we have a few things that we really need to consider when we're evaluating what or which app we need to use between Zapier and Integromat. So how do we evaluate those? I broke it down into just kind of four simple things that I like to uh, look at software. It's functionality, processing time, monthly usage, and cost. So we can dive on into what all of these mean. Functionality. So when we're looking at functionality, we want to understand how is Go High Level going to interact with Zapier versus Integromat. Now, when it, just starting off, when we look at triggers, uh, both of these apps only have one trigger, and they're the exact same. Now, even though they say different, uh, they are worded a little differently. Uh, they both just watch the opportunities or our pipeline and whenever a contact is moved from one part of our pipeline to another part, we can use that to trigger an event inside of one of these apps. Now, with that being said, both of these apps do have the ability to utilize webhooks. Webhooks um, allow us to actually trigger events uh, based on maybe a tag being added. We can use a workflow inside of Go High Level. So when a tag gets added or maybe when a form is completed um, uh, or pretty much anything else, whether it's a custom field has been updated, um, an appointment has been scheduled, we can actually then use a webhook to communicate with these third-party softwares to then go do what we need it to do. Now, I will say with a disclaimer that uh, Zapier's free plan, you cannot use webhooks since it is a premium app and feature, whereas Integromat, uh, you can use it on the free plan regardless. So next up, we have more functionality and that functionality looks like action sorry for those technical difficulties but though if we're just looking uh, purely at the actions that both of these apps allow us to you can see just from a, a, a high level overview it seems like there's a lot more that we can do directly with integromat than zapier now where this gets really crucial is in Zapier, when you have an add or update step, whether that's a contact or an opportunity, it doesn't give us the ability to differentiate between a new lead in our, uh, our system or if it's a, an existing lead in our system. Now, this becomes super vital and important, especially when we are trying to automate communication, uh, whether that's adding uh, leads to a specific workflow um, or providing certain resources uh, or assets for them. Now, the other really, really key thing here is, uh, is that Integromat gives us the ability to not only search contacts and individually create or update them depending on if they're a lead in our current system, but is make direct API calls in a very easy to uh, use format. Now, in order to make API calls inside of Zapier, 
you have to know how to code, you have to know how, you know, you're gonna have to know a, a coding language like Python, and it just, uh, if you're like me, I do not know, uh, I did not spend a significant amount of time learning uh, coding language, and so, uh, if you're an individual who doesn't have that sort of uh, full stack developer background, Integromat's gonna be a lot easier to uh, manipulate our data inside of Go High Level without having to be an extensive developer. Now, API call, or the reason API is really important is that Go High Level has API documentation that allows us to go over and above what the current features are inside of uh, these third party software. So for instance, instead of just getting to use those few actions that we saw in there, we can actually, uh, we can actually manipulate our calendars, uh, update custom values, custom fields. Uh, we can also, just kind of running down this list here, completely edit our pipelines. Um, the other really cool feature is under locations is that we can actually create entire sub accounts and upload snapshots completely automatically using Go High Level API. Now, that is very, very useful. And like I was saying before, uh, if you are a full stack developer and you can use Zapier, that shouldn't matter as much. But if you don't know how to code, it makes it really useful having IntegraMap. Now, a few other things that we uh, wanna look at when looking at functionality is IntegraMap has the ability to actually send, receive, and edit full files. We can connect services via what's called OAuth2. It allows for a more secure connection. Uh, and does not turn, you know, uh, does not actually lose connection, or we don't have to go back in to go high level and re or IntegraMap and re-update uh, the credentials, and so that way the scenario won't turn off. OAuth OAuth two allows us to mitigate that process with a, a more secure connection. The other really cool feature with IntegraMap is unlimited routers. Now a router is like an if else statement inside a workflow or a decision fork inside a Zapier, which allows us to kind of dictate at, uh, based on certain answers or parameters of that um, scenario, it will allow us to actually control what is happening on a very more, con um, on a controlled basis. Uh, I know I use controlled there twice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the reason this is really important is that Zapier only allows us to do this three times before you uh, cannot do it any longer. So we can actually build out more robust, complex automations uh, that encapsulate a lot more with IntegraMap uh, than we can in Zapier. The other really, really cool feature is automatic air handling. So automatic air handling, uh, if you have ever experienced this inside of Zapier, if you have ever used it, sometimes when an air happens, whether it's improper data was passed through or maybe there was a connection issue, the zap turns off. The zap turns off and you completely lose your ability to uh, go back and recover that data if you don't happen to catch it right when it turns off. Now, inside of IntegraMap, uh, if, an, if a scenario turns off, we, the software actually will catch those bundles and ensure that we maintain data integrity so that way when we go in and fix that error, we can still process that data that it was not uh, that it was not able to actually run while it was turned off. Now, where the automatic air handlers come into place, we can actually prevent it from turning off. So, for instance, um, the way we have it set up for our agency is that when an air happens on a certain step that we know tends to air out every once in a while, we just end up setting. Um, an automatic air handler to send us a Slack notification so that way we're on top of it immediately as soon as that air happens and we can immediately go and address it without having to worry about having a, someone go in and check it every day just to make sure all of the zaps are turned on. The other really cool feature with IntegraMat is that we have this ability to control task usage. So it's basically like a rate limiter. So we can control how many operations are happening on a day-to-day -day basis or a month basis. Whereas Zapier, you're kind of just at the mercy of Zapier and whenever it's on, it's on, and you can't really control how often or quickly it's processing data. And lastly, inside of IntegraMat is a really cool feature known as dynamic fields. Now dynamic fields, I'll show you this quick little video. Actually, when we're inside of IntegraMat and, and on a module and uh, connect our Go High Level account, it'll actually pull all of our data from our Go High Level account directly into IntegraMat. So it makes the building process a lot quicker and simpler. 
for instance, you can see in this li that little video that it pulled in all of our tags for, our, for this client. It also does the same feature for uh, custom fields and custom values as well. Now, what can Go or Zapier do? Hearing a lot of crickets on that side. No, I'm just kidding. Go or Zapier does have its uh, does have its benefits uh, for its functionality. There are thousands of connected nat or natively connected apps for Zapier. It is fairly easy to use, and if you are a full stack developer. You, uh, it is a lot easier to actually write code directly inside of Zapier than it is inside of IntegraMap. So it does have a few benefits going for it. Now, the next thing on our list to talk about is processing time. Now, processing time is very important. And what is it, right? Processing time is that time in between each data processing run. How quickly will this happen? Uh, or how quickly will an operation take place? Now, as you can see, Processing time, when comparing the two apps together, um, there's not a massive amount of difference, but just looking at where a majority of you will end up lying it, for the standard package inside of IntegraMAT or the professional package inside of Zapier, it's actually twice as fast to process data inside of IntegraMAT than it is inside of Zapier. And it costs 60% of what you would be paying. So it's cheaper and it process thing, uh, and you're able to process data much, much quicker. Now this, will own, this really comes into play, especially when you are sending a significant amount of, uh, uh, when you're sending a, a significant amount of data to your, uh, that needs to be processed by this third party software, um, where IntegraMAT can work through that data at a much quicker rate and will actually, uh, allow you to prevent long delays, whereas Zapier, that twice or that time frame really starts to add up quickly, especially if you're processing a massive amount of data. The other thing that we need to look at is monthly usage. So monthly usage is really about the number of specific operations that are happening or tasks that are being performed um, in a month long period. So uh, one thing to quickly highlight before that is just the amount of zaps and scenarios that we can set up inside of these two apps. So as you can see inside of IntegraMAP, we can build as many scenarios as we want, as uh, if all the way or unlimited scenarios as, uh, that we want, regardless of what plan we have. Now, I will say that with the free plan inside of IntegraMAP, you are limited to having two active scenarios, even though you can build out as many as you want that are turned off or that you're just testing with. Um, however, on the Zapier side, you're significantly limited even when you start paying for it at the starter level. Now, some of you may be on, uh, may not have a whole lot of automation that you uh, need to build out using these software, so you may just wanna stick with the free plan. And when you're just looking at the two free plans that you have available to you, you get 10 times the amount of operations with IntegraMAT than you do with Zapier. So that means you could process 10 times the amount of steps or uh, automation steps with IntegraMAT than you can with the Zapier. Uh, and why this is super, oh, the other thing is too, is IntegraMAT doesn't count, uh, for instance, filters as an actual step or an operation. Whereas Zapier, that's an entire module and it will just eat up your task limit by doing various filters or uh, a few other things in that nature. So yeah, just to reiterate, you get 10 times the number of operations performed with no limit on complexity for free. So where, again, where a lot of you will lie is in the standard or the professional, uh, in the professional packages between these two. And as you can see, you get 20 times the number of operations performed. And remember from our previous slides, you also get twice the processing speed, again, for 60% of the cost. That's a lot more automation that you can build in um, to streamline your business. And it will process things much, much faster for significantly less money. The other benefit is if you do run into uh, an issue where maybe you run into your, um, your, your task limit for that month, you can actually purchase additional operations with IntegraMAT for only $7. So 10,000 extra operations for $7. Where for Zapier, if you run into your limit, you have to actually completely upgrade your account in order to get those additional uh, task in, uh, tasks per month. So where some of your businesses may lie, if you have a ton of automation that is built in, 
is you will be in the platinum range or the company range for Zapier. Now, it's fairly straightforward. Just looking at the numbers, you get eight times the number of operations performed for half the cost. So as you can see, all the way through the board, whether you're at the free plan, professional plan, or the company plan, you get significantly more operations for a significantly less or lower price. Additionally, you can also buy 10,000 extra operations on the Integromat side for only $5. Um, whereas on the company side with Zapier, you can increase that limit, but if any of you are up in that range, you notice it significantly gets very expensive the more and more operations that you buy with Zapier. So let's bring it into conclusion and kind of wrapping it up. Integromat seems to be significantly more functional, especially when it comes to go high level and what operations you can control outside of go high level. It processes data much faster if you are at the sort of, you know, the mid tier plan or um, the free plan. Uh, additionally, it's cheaper cost per operation that you're even paying for. Uh, it's very, very easy to use and it's pretty developer friendly. Now, Zapier does have some benefits as well. It definitely has more natively connected apps, but that's where the functionality uh, within Integromat allows us to connect. At, as long as a, a software has API documentation available, we can get that software to work with Integromat by using HTTP POST. Um, the other thing with Zapier is it's definitely been around longer. Might be a little bit of a dinosaur, <laughs> but I think with this paint or this picture that we've painted here today, I think we definitely have a clear winner of that. Integromat is just gonna give you more bang for your buck and it's going to uh, allow you to really streamline more operations inside of your business. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I had a lot of fun creating this presentation. I, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Integromat, especially for all of my clients' Go High Level accounts. It gives you so much more functionality. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you can smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be producing a lot more content, specifically around these types of softwares um, and other sorts of softwares and building business automations itself. Uh, if you would like to try Integromat out uh, below, you, uh, yeah, if you'd like to try Integromat out, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Additionally, if you would like me or someone on my team to sit down with you and map out some of your business problems or your biggest bottlenecks, I'd be more than happy to help you identify a couple small levers that you could pull with either an oper uh, building a system, uh, building an automation, or even building or creating some sort of delegatable process so that way you can help streamline your business, increase operational efficiency, and overall increase your top line revenue. That link is also in the description below. I hope all of you have an amazing rest of your day. See you guys later.